Robotics are no longer a vision for the future, but a reality of the present. The Robotino navigate through the environment from point to point by taking the shortest path and avoiding obstacles. The Robotino is provided with perception. The Robotino can detect and classify the surrounding Robotinos and pucks. The two Robotinos communicate with each other to execute the same task. Once the first Robotino is done with the task, the second Robotino performs the same task. In the MNR lab, research is conducted on micro and nano robotics. This system was built in order to perform bilateral telemanipulation between a haptic device and an electromagnetic system, which is used to control the motion of magnetic microparticles to achieve targeted drug delivery. The motion performed by the operator on the pantograph is then scaled down, and by controlling the magnetic fields, the particle is controlled to mimic the operator's motion on the micrometer scale. And because all of this is performed over network, the operator can perform the operations and tasks over long distances, saving time and resources. The virtual reality environment is built with LCD screen, a PC, and TACX cycling trainer using the Genius Smart Tool. This interactive simulation is realistic, giving the rider a lifelike cycling experience with an advanced brake system. While monitoring the cyclist cadence and balance pressure via Garmin Vector, a feedback system was provided to improve the rider's cycling experience. For the cadence, a game of Catch the Notes was implemented with two modes, speedy and relaxed modes. The player's feet are escalating up with speed, according to the cadence retrieved from the vector sensor. The player should catch as much notes as he can. If the player is moving with lower or higher speed than is required, the player will lose more notes, either skipping them or moving in between notes respectively. For the balance, a game of seesaw was implemented, where the player aims to establish equilibrium between the two ends of the sledge. The player should target to have a 50-50 pressure on both pedals. According to the pressure on each pedal, if the player is exerting more or less pressure on the pedal, the corresponding end of the sledge would either demote or elevate respectively.